heat when we had it. Just ready to get on to the finals this evening. The first final is the men's 400 S8. And that features the world champion Oliver Hine from Great Britain in lane number four. Well, that's right, Paul. He won the silver medal in, lane two, in London 2012, Lee just Morrison. narrowly beating his brother into bronze place. Mortensen there of Denmark. Lane four, Dennis Tarasov. I don't think he's going to be in with a chance of gold, but certainly in lane five, be challenging Britain, for the silver medal. Lee. Oliver Hind and Joseph in Craig six, of Great Britain was an S7 reclassified Sika. during this meet. Rightly reclassified Paul. Well, it's a matter for the classifiers to decide that one. He is now an S8. And that's what the classifiers have decided, so that's where he's swimming. And he's embracing that, Joseph Craig. He's taking this one on. There is Oliver Hind, the world record held, still held by his brother. Set back in 2010, Sam Hind. He will be watching. At home, I am sure. Torben Schmidtke in six and Jonathan McGrath from Ireland in seven. They complete the lineup. Take well, the 400 freestyle four men S8 final. Oliver Hind, the favourite from Great Britain. Great Britain in the two centre lanes. Joseph Craig, Paralympic champion in the S7 class. What can he do? A good start, though, from Oliver Hine and Denis Tarasov from Russia. Tarasov, better known as a sprinter. Has he got the stamina for the 400 freestyle distance? Well, Oliver Hine was typically slow out of the blocks, not a lot of explosive power due to his kind of impairment, muscular dystrophy. Really affects the ability of his muscles to absorb energy from his bloodstream. But he dominates races, really through the solid pacing that he's got. You can see they're already starting to lay down a pacing marker for the rest of this field. Will they be able to live with it? Joseph Craig there, just slightly nearer, nearer us in lane five. He's gonna have to try and hang on to that pace of Oliver Hind. He's not used to following pace from the S7 class. He's used to setting it. Well, he's now gonna have to up his game. Tarasov there, just sliding out of your picture. The Russian, incredibly slow stroke turnover, very efficient, but it's Oli Hind in the lead here. Those hands going into the water fantastically. Yeah, Hind already with the body length lead here as they come up to the 150 mark. 103.14 for the first 100 for Oliver Hind. And he is leading his teammate Joseph Craig by about 1.7 seconds there. 1.71. Oliver Hind ahead of Joseph Craig. Dennis Tarasov in third position. Still in with a shout of the silver medal position, Tarasov. But at the moment, these three are stretching away. It looks like just coming up to halfway that these are going to be the three medal contenders already. And Oliver Hyde is looking pretty unbeatable. But it is only halfway. Oliver Hyde has got a big lead at the halfway stage. 2.41 seconds. It is being extended all the time. That split for Oliver Hyde to 11.40 is just point. Five of a second outside world record pace. The world record held, remember, by his brother Sam Hind, set back in 2010. Well, this is absolutely terrific swimming from uh, Joseph Craig. He really is blisteringly quicker than his gold medal winning time in London. I'm wondering if that slow turnover from Tarasov in lane three, Paul, if he is just holding back. Maybe he's just acknowledged that he can't beat Oliver Hind and he's just going to start turning on the pace. We'll have to see as the race unfolds. They're coming down now. It'll be the 300 meter mark that they come to this time. And I think Oliver Hind, we expected him to maybe have a bigger lead than he's currently got, but uh, he's still looking very comfortable. He's slightly down on his London 2012 pace, about half a second down at the moment. We'll see as he goes round the wall here how that compares. 321.3 is two seconds off that London 2012 pace. 
Walker looking incredibly smooth, dominating this field. Tarasov now starting to kick his legs. He's out of your shot. He's starting to get the better of Joseph Craig in lane three. We're com coming up to the last turn now of the men's 400 freestyle S8. Oliver Hyde has got a lead over Dennis Tarasov from Russia. Joseph Craig clear now in third position. Oliver Hyde goes over that final turn, two and a half seconds ahead of Dennis Tarasov with Joseph Craig in third. It looks like these medals are now decided. But who is going to get the gold and silver because Tarasov is coming Coming back strongly on Oliver Hayne. Can Oliver Hayne hold on to this lead? Hayne just kicks slightly. I think he's going to have enough to hold on. Dennis Tarasov. The Russian is closing all the time, but the goal is going to go to Great Britain. Oliver Hayne will be the European champion in 2014 in a time of 4.31.66. Tarasov, he did close down in that last 50 meters. The silver will go to the Russian. And Joseph Craig, 4.38.14, will take the bronze and he will be delighted with that swim. Well, it was a superb time from Joseph Craig. Interesting, interesting race tactics from Denis Tarasov there. It really tried to, and almost uh, lulled Ollie Hind into a full sense of security with that very, very even, steady pace throughout the race. But he just ran out of room. Oliver Hind there, it's not a great time for him. He's happy with the victory. But he knows, looking at the clock, he knows that possibly it's ever so slightly led on by the Russian there. Yeah, Tarasov did look pretty steady all the way through that one. And he is a sprinter. There's Oliver Hine coming in now, just about had enough. Sure, he would have been aware of Tarasov coming back strongly to the left of him. And Tarasov, well, if he was in contention at the end, you know, that sprint speed might have been vital. It's a good job that Oliver Hine had that little bit of a lead going into the last 100, because Tarasov looked pretty strong there at the end. He certainly did, and his efficiency throughout the race must have surely meant that he had a lot in reserve. Oliver Hind takes the European title for Great Britain ahead of Denis Tarasov of Russia and Joseph Craig with the bronze.